During our time as Paracleans, our area of focus has been Chiapas, Mexico. And for a while, we wanted to establish partnerships down in Chiapas and work with people down there and eventually take a trip down there during winter term. But it's interesting because our biggest project that we have done is actually right here in Burlington. In order to be you know, a globally engaged citizen, you don't necessarily have to go to another country. Um, sometimes there are global issues sitting in your own backyard, especially here in Burlington, immigration is a real issue. And so part of our other work as a Paraclean class has been more local. We've worked with um, a group of Latina women uh, from the area. It's sort of a partnership in that we bring to the table speakers on subjects ranging from nutrition and other health-related subjects. We've really enjoyed finding ways to make immigrants' experiences as good as possible here in Alamance County. And I think that overall, we've been able to work with these same women for the better part of a year because they're local. It's so hard in the developing world especially to be able to stay in touch with people when internet connections and mail is not really as set up as it is here. It's felt empowering, but for them in a way, you know, and and as Paracleans, we're, we're hesitant to use the word help because it's very much a collaborative effort. It's cool to see them kind of become leaders and, and take that initiative and, and want to learn and encourage one another. They've in turn been willing to share with us some of their stories, what it's been like living here, which is not always easy. So um, that's been an incredibly valuable experience and something I'll definitely take away. Because of that, I've been able to still focus on my academics, but have them enriched in a way where it's not just about getting a grade. It's more about being satisfied with what I've done here. As a leadership fellow, I really have gained a lot of experiences that have made me a global leader. Um, the first would be just the workshops and training that we've received throughout the four years we've learned about ourselves and about leading others. And then we kind of put, pulled it all together by being able to study abroad. And so when I studied abroad in London, during my junior year, I was able to apply the things that I've learned about leadership in a meaningful way, and so I was uh, involved in some community service projects while I was in London. It was an awesome experience to be able to work with others hands-on and also apply the things that I've learned about being a global citizen and a global leader. I did the Holocaust journey, and I traveled across Eastern Europe, six cities and four countries, and studied the Holocaust. It absolutely changed my perspective on everything. And it just made me realize the power of words and what kind of leaders are we really when we say one thing and act a completely different way. And that's not the standard that I hold myself to and I, I hope to inspire others to hold themselves to a higher standard as well. Being a global leader means to also learn to work in your backyard. I'm from East Tennessee and I'm really proud of that, but I'm from a small town where every single person tells you in order to be successful, you need to leave. My initiative as a leader and what I've been doing is working in the communities to encourage youth to actually come back to the town and to realize that you can actually stay in Appalachia and be successful. And so I think that's just essential to me is learning to first do a lot of internal work and looking at where I'm coming from before I go somewhere else. second half of the program really focuses on um, kind of letting the students have more time to do whatever it is they want to do and find their passion and really hone that. The people that I met and the staff that I worked with just believed in me and that was enough to get me going as a leader and start believing in myself. As a fellow, what it means to me is having a sense of responsibility in everything I do on this campus. So it's sort of this, uh, uh, both an honor and a conviction to always see leadership as a lifestyle and not as just a label.